Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to Morning Tales for 20th July 2019. So it's 8 a.m. in the morning, and I'm going to cover the Morning Tales for 20th July with six questions. Although most of these questions are going to be very easy today, but they are important for the upcoming RBI and SEBI, especially Phase One examination. So today's questions are going to be less relevant for Phase Two and more relevant for Phase One. And I'm going to provide you a lot of additional information as well. that will certainly help you in uh, uh, you know getting more knowledge out of these also if you have not subscribed to the channel do it now and also do not forget to press the bell icon take these quizzes yourself as well by go to the website so you can go to the website click on quizzes section where you have daily current affairs and you will be taken to this particular page where all the current affairs all the quizzes have been posted so let me click on start quiz for july 20th and let's begin The first question is which of the following initiative has won the Pata Gold Awards Pata stands for Pacific Asia Travel Association in the category of marketing primary government destination category 2019 so the answer to this question is incredible india find the real you and that's why this becomes important well pata awards are eligible i mean people can apply for uh, pata awards not only individuals but organizations can also or not only organizations let me put it otherwise individuals can also apply for pata awards in the category of tourism because it is uh, specifically in the category of travel and this this year for marketing primary government destination uh, incredible india find the real you has won the award let's come to the second question for today which bank has launched insta biz a digital banking platform now that this question is very important specifically for rbi examination rbi loves these kinds of questions the answer to this question is c icici bank icici has launched insta biz now the good thing about this particular uh, platform digital platform insta biz is that number one you don't require to create an account before accessing insta biz so you don't need Uh, to create an account you can actually start instabiz without having an account also you can just sign up and start as a, as a msme uh, you know uh, uh, businessman uh, uh, to instabiz and, and then you can update yourself and create an account if you really like it that's the good thing about it what's the primary purpose of instabiz insta is insta business instant business so the primary purpose is to provide uh good online services to msme so that they can grow faster so they can grow faster by providing them various services for which they normally have to spend a lot of time in banks and waste their primary time period or their precious time period so all these services for example gst so filing gst regularly they don't have to go to the gst platform and do it out of there they can directly do it from insta account itself insta biz account itself so that's a very good thing that's going to boost the gst collection and at the same time provide more time and uh, more opportunities for these msmes to grow because then they can focus on their primary activity let's jump on to the third question for today which ministry has launched jan jagrukta abhiyan to spread awareness about vector borne diseases the answer is b ministry of health and family welfare has launched the jan jagrukta abhiyan which is a community led as the name itself says if you know hindi you would understand community led awareness program community led awareness program the purpose of this is to spread awareness about the problems attached with diseases uh, uh, malaria like diseases connected with mosquitoes like malaria chikungunya uh, and dengue and to try and stop these diseases by spreading awareness about what can be done so that these diseases can be prevented okay let's jump to the fourth question for today I want you to answer this question for me who has become the second richest person in the world according to Bloomberg billionaires index 2019 it's not bill gates now that's uh, a news and that's why it's important news uh, please provide me your answers in the comment section below i'm not going to answer this one for you the richest person is again jeff bezos jeff bezos the ceo of amazon the richest indian on the list the richest indian on the list is uh, 
Mukesh Ambani who is at 48th rank Mukesh Ambani who is at 48th rank worldwide so sorry 13th rank worldwide and the second one is Azim Premji Azim Premji the founder of Wipro who is at 48th uh, rank worldwide okay you have to um, come up and tell me with the second richest person in the world according to Bloomberg Blindness Index another question for me for you what is the net worth of uh, Jeff Bezos please provide me the answers in the comment section below of the net worth of the richest person in the world uh, next question is who is the author of Cargill Un untold stories from the war I think this is a very interesting question I read about the author a little bit after going through uh, this particular book uh, and I realized that it's a very interesting story about the author well the answer to this question is C. Rachana Bist Rawat Rachana Bist Rawat is the wife of uh, you know uh, 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 an army man uh, a defense personnel and uh, it's an interesting story because she has uh, turned into a journalist I believe after uh, getting married and starting her life with the with the with the defense services of India and she's written a lot of books since then and it's very inspiring that you can write something so well uh, just by hearing stories and you know going to places with an army personnel so uh, this one is Kargil untold stories from the war the another one is uh, the brave Paramvi Chakra stories she's also written shoot dive fly which is about uh, adventure stories about from the Indian Army and she's also written a, uh, an inspiring book called as Guns, Guts and Glory which is also a story from the which is also a culmination of stories from the battlefield very very inspiring books uh, she's been writing and it's very good to hear that she's creating uh, you know a profession and writing something which does not exist in abundance and she has access to all those people who can tell her stories, who can narrate to her all the good things that have happened in the past 70-75 years in the history of Indian Army and that's amazing to hear, okay? So go on and read this book if you get time, you'll be inspired. The last question for today is, which state has recently got its first international flight service to Dubai through Air India? The name of the state is important, the name of the city is important and the name of the airport is important. So the answer to this question is uh, E Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh has recently got its first international flight. The city of Indore, which is also called as commercial capital of India, has got its first international flight from Indore to Dubai. And the name of the airport from in, uh, in Indore, if you know it, do tell me the name in the comment section below before I tell, tell you the name out here you can just pause the video well the name of the airport is Devi Devi Ahilya Bhai Devi Ahilya Bhai Holkar Devi Ahilya Bhai Holkar it was a domestic airport but now it can proudly say that it's an international airport Devi Ahilya Bhai Holkar international airport okay so this was the first time an Air India flight has uh, flown from Indore to an international area Dubai and it's a, it's a good thing uh, for the state might result into more tourism and more business for the state as well okay so the name of this airport is important it can be asked in the examination such uh, questions in the static gk so called static gk have been framed through current affairs in the past and therefore this is something important that can happen okay you can uh, take take these quizzes yourself as well and after you submit your quiz uh, by just entering your name and your email id you'll get the entire result what is your result well all these answers are correct as of now i hope you like this uh, session on the morning tales if you did uh, subscribe to the channel if you have any feedback if you want to say something tell me something do comment on the comment section below and do provide your feedback. I just wait for those feedbacks to tell me uh, about how are you feeling about it? How are you? Uh, are you actually benefiting from it or not? Okay. All the very best. Take care. Have a nice day.